This video will be revisiting Andy's document on BMS shortcuts and today I'll be speaking about the ones found in purchase ordering and stock inquiry specifically. Looking at the suggested ordering screen first of all, once you've got a suggested order up on your screen, we can see we've got a few components here. Uh, pressing control and N. This will take you into the supplier notes, so you can see the old notes we've already got on file, so create new ones. Pressing Ctrl and F allows us to search for a part. If you type in your part number you're looking for, it will jump to the rounded quantity field on the, the row that's that part. Obviously it's much more useful in a larger suggested order. If you have got a large suggested order, one of the things you can use is Control M, which will get rid of the headers for you and give you a bit more real estate to show the order. Pressing Control and M again returns the headers. If you highlight a line and then use Control and R, this will take you to the returns no inquiry screen. You can see the returns you've made with that particular part. Moving on to the stock inquiry screen, Enter part number. If you hit Control and E, you'll see the multi-branch stock inquiry screen for the part that you've entered. Control and M will take you into the manual stock allocation screen. And finally, Control and B will take you into the back order amendment screen. So there's a selection of shortcuts for the purchase order in a stock inquiry screen. I hope you find some of them useful. Thanks for watching. I do hope you found this short tutorial useful. If you would like to be kept up to date with the ongoing developments at MAM Software, then please follow us on social media, YouTube or our community portal.